Hey guys, what is up? Time to review Uncanny Avengers number one, the first of the Marvel Now books, their new initiative, and the first book to really, really play with the world after the death of Professor X. And that does come into play in this book, so if you did not know he died because he didn't read AVX, he's dead. Spoiler alert, sorry. Uh, overall, I did enjoy this book a lot more than I thought it would. I wouldn't ex I honestly wouldn't expect much. Even though I love Rick Remender's Uncanny X Force, I really haven't liked his Secret of Avengers. So it's kind of a give and take. Because there's characters from both, and there's new characters added. And it's a new world. And I thought it was actually handled really well. Like, if you just read AVX and jump into this, which is what I did, it feels r like a natural progression. And this feels really good. I uh, haven't read AVX Consequences yet. So put that to the side. If that has to do with this, because I don't know. I haven't read it yet. Anyway, like I was saying, I enjoyed it more than I thought I would. It's a somewhat of a slow burn, but that could be a good thing here. And you're kind of seeing what it looks like it'll be dealing with now that there are more mutants. What will that be like? And the main story, of course, being trying to combine X-Men and Avengers to show the world they're united now. So overall, good first issue. I'm going to give it an 8 out of 10. I'll see you guys in another review.